all right so let's create a project this is going to be dotnet maui app let's call it social media maui next i'll choose dotnet 9 we are going to use dotnet 9 in this include sample content maybe remove sample content we don't need sample content create so the approach i am going to take first i am going to work on ui so we'll start designing our pages first we'll design our page after those we are going to work on our api and then we are going to fetch the data from api in our ui and we are going to make our ui dynamic okay so that's the approach i'm going to take okay so first thing what i'm going to do in this maui application let's uh, install a nuget package or two nuget packages dot community toolkit dot mvvm and community toolkit dot maui we are going to use both community toolkit dot mvvm let's install this apply accept and there is some error the process cannot access did it install let's quickly verify in cs pros we have mvvm okay this got installed save everything then we'll install community toolkit dot maui this one let's install it right apply Accept. and we should be fine but there is some package warning warning as error social maui community toolkit maui 10 microsoft maui controls 9021 okay and social media mau we have microsoft maui control 900 if we quickly verify maui controls this is dollar maui version which is mismatching what we can do we can maybe go to the previous version or is there error it says this community toolkit maui it needs maui controls greater than equals 9021 what we can do we can set maui version in here in our main property group let's set the maui version 9021 this is the one right 9021 right save it and let's try to install the maui package again community toolkit dot maui install Let's wait for it. Accept. And it says we need to add the use Maui community toolkit. This use Maui community toolkit in our Maui program.cs. We'll go here and we are going to add this here. Use Maui community toolkit, which should come from community toolkit dot maui namespace so we are good we have installed both of our packages after this i'm going to create couple of folders in this application so let's create those add new folder first i'm going to create a pages folder where i'm going to have direct pages then i'm going to have a folder for our view models then we are going to have a couple of models as well then in here we are going to have some services maybe i don't know maybe. let's have templates because we are going to use a uh, data template selector and custom data templates in this then we are going to have a controls folder as well we are going to use some custom control create some custom controls and i think we are good we'll see if we need anything else we'll add those all right now this main page dot xaml which is outside the main entry point we'll move this main page to our pages folder 
okay yes and what i am going to do i am going to uh, rename this main page to home page so when we want to rename there are couple of things which we need to rename so home page dot xaml dot cs if you see we have this name main page we need to change it so we will change all the occurrences of this to home page so this is control r r shortcut for this or you can right click and then rename it also does the same thing it will uh, rename its other occurrences as well now this xaml here if we see x class it is updated we are good now let's go to the app shell.xaml here we are having this main page from this local namespace but now we have moved this main page to pages and we renamed this home page so what we'll do we'll do two things here first we are going to add a namespace for pages to so xmlns pages equals which will be our pages let's do this let's modify this only we don't need local namespace we'll simply say this dot pages after this instead of this main page what we'll do we'll say we need our home page which should come from pages namespace save everything and what it is saying that could not be found we have this pages oh my bad so the namespace we didn't change this namespace to pages let's do this as well pages and in this here also we'll say pages you can leave it like this if you want to but because i'm rearranging these and i i'm going to use home page that's why i'm just renaming it we are free if you not don't want to rename this that is also fine okay so where were we were in app shell right now we should be good save and now intellisense should also work home page save all right now i'm going to use a different font and a different color scheme for this this application so for this what i'll do i am going to copy a font and that font will go to the resources and then fonts folder okay here i'm going to paste my font and the font i'm going to use that is ubuntu so you can go to the google fonts and you can download that font from there so just fonts.google.com and you can search for ubuntu and you can get that font okay i al already have it downloaded all right so i added this font here i just pasted it and apart from this i also added a couple of images and icons okay so these icons if you are following me i mostly use box icons for this so box icons you can go to the box icons and from here you can search for your icons whatever maybe notification bell i have this uh, this bell icon then for maybe deletion i have the trash icon so for couple of icons most of the icons i have had used simple only but for the icons which i have a diff different color for those i simply choose the color for example this red color i selected this and then i downloaded the png version i'm using png versions of these icons here with 24 px size so this is what i'm using for a like and save functionality which i showed you in the demo so for those we have different icons so for example we have heart icon for normal i'm using this with the default black color and then for this filled one i'm using this and we can have that red color or we can use the the uh, tint color behavior icon tint color behavior if you want to but it's good to have these icons directly so 
it reduces the overhead of that adding this behavior because we already know the color and all this we are we know that we are going to use this so switching font makes more sense here that is what i am using here all right and for images what i have used the images which i told you these curtains comment uh, bird bell beach there are these images So these images for example these these so just so that we can build our ui okay because we will not have any dynamic image right now so we are we can use these images to build our ui then we'll simply remove these images once we'll uh, implement complete functionality so uh, we can when user will be able to post something then user can select the image upload it to the api and then from api we are going to use these images all right these images i got these from pexels and pixabay all right this name also let's use home page now we have added the fonts directly in fonts folder but that alone will not change the font in our application so we'll go to mauiprogram.cs and here we are going to add our fonts like this only i'm going to copy this two times let's comment this thing and here we can use whatever font we want to but we are using these fonts ubuntu bold and ubuntu regular let's get the name so we have ubuntu bold and here we can provide any name which we will be using in our styles in xaml so we can name these maybe just ubuntu bold and then second one is ubuntu regular let's use this here ubuntu regular save it and most of the fonts directly are derived by these names in our global styling that we can find in resources and styles and we have two global styles one is color one is styles so color has all the colors predefined colors which we are going predefined means we are defining it here and we are going to use it throughout our application then we have styles.xaml where we have global styling so here what we can do we can simply search for the this name open science regular go to the styles.xaml and search for it so we'll find it here so you see for button we are setting font family and like this we'll be setting it for almost all the controls to date picker this font family editor entry for all so what we want to do we just want to rename this so we'll use this ubuntu regular for this open source open sense regular just replace save everything and then we have one more that ubuntu bold so we can search for open sense semi bold but we don't have it here in the application so we are good let's remove this save everything and now we are good now let's change the default color scheme as well so for primary color we have this predefined color is 512bd4 but we have a different color for our application i'm going to use a different color scheme so let me quickly get that color it is kind of pink and something some variant of pink and purple i love that color i i don't know i found it somewhere and i liked it so i used it okay so this is going to be a primary color then the dark version of it primary dark then i have secondary color which is a lighter version of this color and then secondary dark text all right so save it so these are the colors i'm using now if you see for all others the colors has been changed now there is one note for android please see also platforms android resource values colors dot 
So for some of the pieces, I don't remember. Maybe it was for for the the status bar color or something like that. There was some color which was not getting applied, so I had to use it this file. Android resources and values. Okay. So here, let's go to the platform. Android resources values colors dot accent. Okay. Here we have color primary, color primary dark, color accent. For this, I had to use color primary dark, color primary, dark. and this was four model pop up status bar. Okay, four model pop up status. I'll show you when we'll reach there. I'll show you if I don't set it, then it it simply uses whatever color we have here. It uses that uh, that blue purple mix of color, but that is not what we we need. We want our color scheme. All right, save everything. So I guess this was all set up. We might need to change couple of other things as well, but that those things will change or maybe let's do this. We need a global uh, status bar behavior for us. Before that, let, let's try to run this application, maybe in Android emulator only, and we'll see and we'll try to add other things after running the application. Okay, so I'm running this application. Okay. 